You all remember Tommy Egan, right? Well, just a reminder, he's that guy that did whatever it took to get things done. A new adventure begins in Tommy's life as he is on his way to the West Coast. Flashbacks of his life in New York torture Tommy as he speeds up and almost swerves off the road. Tommy gets emotional, but he pulls himself together and heads to Chicago instead. What's up guys, in this video I'll be going over the key events throughout Season 1 of Power Book Force. Let me know your thoughts on the season and what you think could happen in Season 2 in the comments down below. Just a heads up, spoilers ahead. If you enjoy the content, please be sure to like and subscribe, but let's get right to it. It seems that Tommy grew up in Chicago as we see him pull up to a house asking about an old woman who he thought was dead. He finds out that the woman is alive and is in a retirement home. He goes there and sees that she is alive and not responsive, so he leaves. Elsewhere in prison, we see a prison barber named Diamond being released. The guards bought him a new set of hairdressing tools and Diamond is greeted to the free world by his younger brother, Jannard. Little did they know that someone on the inside was going to go after Diamond once he was released. Tommy makes his way to a bar called Dr. Parker's office where he flirts with the bartender, Gloria. Whilst Tommy is smoking outside the bar, two guys give him trouble about moving his car. We all know Tommy loves to make new friends. One of the guys we see is Victor Flynn, the son of a major drug dealer, Walter Flynn. Victor and Gloria had a relationship in the past, but are now on thin ice for reasons we shall see later. The other guy, Simon, decides to stay at the bar and Tommy kills him. Tommy and Gloria hook up, but that was obvious because he is a killer when it comes to ladies, and anyone else really. Tommy has Simon's phone and meets Victor where Simon was supposed to meet him. Once there, we realise it is a drug exchange. Jannard and Victor are there and when things go wrong, Tommy kills two guys demanding money off Jannard and Victor. Tommy takes their money and drugs as a payment for saving their lives. Diamond was the leader of the CBI gang before he got locked up and Jannard has taken over since then. They are rival gangs of the Flynn family. We meet Claudia Flynn, Victor's sister, who wants a bigger part in their organisation but their father, Walter, doesn't think that she should be out on the streets, only running the books. Tommy finds out he has a half-brother, JP. Crazy how he lost Ghost recently and now he finds out he has a real brother. Look, there's a lot for me to process. Tommy gets kidnapped by Walter Flynn and he is told to get out of Chicago. However, as he is leaving Chicago, he decides to stay a little longer and makes a U-turn. Time for him to make himself the ghost of Chicago. How often do we see Tommy having a soft spot for someone? Well, we see Tommy helping out JP with some money problems after finding out someone shot up his bar. What a kind half-brother. Vic wants to do things differently in the Flynn organisation as he is next in line to be the leader, but Walter is set in his traditional ways and won't budge. Tommy runs into an old acquaintance from New York, Liliana, who we last saw in season 1 of the original Power series. Liliana ambushes Tommy because she thought he came to Chicago to kill her, although Tommy didn't even realise that she was there. Elsewhere, we see the reason why Vic and Gloria aren't together is because of Vic's father, Walter. It seems like someone was trying to impress his dad, but at what cost? Tommy is so good at making friends that he goes to Diamond's barbershop to give Jannard's money back. We see some leadership conflict between Jannard and Diamond when it comes to the fate of Tommy, but Diamond takes mercy on him and Tommy came to make peace. From the looks of it, prison life has changed Diamond's perspective on life as he tries to turn his life around. As Tommy and Diamond are bonding, a rival gang ambush them and force them into their car. The Rojas gang force them to move weight within a specific time or they'll kill the two. And Tommy shows his worth to Diamond as they manage to pull it off. Diamond begins to trust Tommy. Tommy brings more cash for JP, but JP starts getting suspicious about where Tommy is getting so much cash from. And Tommy tracks down Liliana to kill her until he realises that she can be quite useful in his business. They end up forming a partnership together to sell drugs. The Flynns have a police officer on their payroll, but that makes sense because why wouldn't the most powerful drug organisation have a cop on their payroll? Tommy and JP bond over a pizza and JP tries to give Tommy's money back as he senses it wasn't legal money. JP tells Tommy how much debt he is in and Tommy wants to help. Later, Tommy plots to take over Chicago with Liliana and doesn't care which gang gets in his way. As Diamond and Jannard are playing baseball, Jannard expresses his concerns over Tommy, but Diamond disregards anything he says. Jannard reminds Diamond that CBI are where they are now because Jannard kept it under lock whilst Diamond was inside. Tommy and Liliana, who now seem like besties, meet up with Walter to convince him to diversify his product range. Walter wants Diamond to be part of this meeting. Vic and Tommy go together to meet a potential partner, but 
They kill him as the partner is high and tries to kill them first. Tommy goes to a boxing ring and tries to convince Diamond to meet with Walter, bearing in mind that they are strong rivals. At the ring, Jannard and Diamond box to see who will ultimately run CBI. Diamond wins, but we later see that Jannard wanted Diamond to think he won, all part of a plan to get rid of his own brother. The meeting with the Flins and Diamond was supposed to help Tommy become the connect for them, but it did not go to plan because Walter can't let go of a grudge against Diamond, which puts Tommy in a tough position. Claudia follows Tommy and eventually lets him in on a new business idea with a new designer drug that they could work on together. Jannard is still determined to get his brother out of the way so he can continue to be the leader of CBI. And this is where we meet Dmac, JP's son. Dmac knows who his father is, but the two don't have a relationship and JP doesn't know where his son is or even what he looks like. Tommy, Diamond and Vic meet up at a diner to discuss business. Vic makes a deal with Diamond and Tommy to work behind his father's back in an attempt to make something of himself. The trio go to meet with the Yardies to talk business with them, but are tipped off that the police are on their way and dip. Tommy finds out that Vic and Gloria have a past and surprisingly doesn't cause conflict as they both put business before pleasure. Walter argues with Vic as he finds out about the exchange with the Yardies and if Vic makes reckless moves, it will blow back on the Flynn's operations. Claudia makes a big move in securing a pharmacist through means of threats for her new drug, but it is definitely looking promising. The Serbians are after Liliana after she stole coke from them. She ropes Tommy into her mess and... If you have seen Power, you know that Tommy doesn't have a good relationship with the Serbs. Tommy saves Liliana and kills the Serbian gang leader, with Vic by his side. Jannard offers Liliana a lot of money to kill Tommy, but she refuses, and that is a relief to us fans as we know that Liliana is loyal to Tommy. Claudia tracks down Tommy and gives him a taste of a new drug, Dahlia, in a unique way. He says it was the best high he has ever had and Claudia wants him to help move it. Tommy asks Liliana to test the drug. We love Team Tamana. Uh, uh, I guess we can work on the name. The dirty cop on the Flynn's payroll, Bennigan, tries to harass Diamond, but it backfired. The Serbs want revenge after what Tommy did to their leader, so Tommy joins forces with Vic, Diamond and Jannard to kill the Serbs in exchange for a large part of the Serbian pipeline. However, the Serbs were a step ahead of Team Tommy as they kidnapped Liliana. Fortunately, the four of them saved Liliana and survived the attack, just about. Liliana couldn't analyse the new drug Dahlia because it was so rare. Tommy and Claudia come to a deal to partner together and sell Dahlia. Claudia found out about the drug from an acquaintance of hers, Mai, and when Mai found out about the shipment of Dahlia being stolen, she threatened Claudia to take the drug business elsewhere. And there we have it. Claudia isn't one to take threats. She kills Mai. This was the first time she's ever killed anyone. Walter seems to be sick but tries to avoid the attention when Claudia asks him about it. However, when he collapses in front of his right-hand man, he realises that he can't hide his illness forever. Unfortunately for Tommy, Vic and Diamond cut ties with him as they think that he is bad for business. This however gives Tommy an opportunity to focus on Dahlia with Claudia. Tommy insists that they keep Liliana on board. I think we'll stick to Team Tommy. His idea to move Dahlia through lockers is a similar concept to Tariq's course correct plan in Power Book Ghost. Be sure to watch my last video on Season 3 of Power Book Ghost so you're up to date with the timeline before Season 2 of Power Book Force. Jannard wants to remove Tommy from the equation for good, so he offers 5 grand to Dmac to gather intel on Tommy, but when Dmac sees Tommy with his father, JP, Dmac gave the cash back to Jannard and backs out. Tommy, Claudia and Liliana successfully launch their distro for Dahlia. JP finds out that Tommy is a drug dealer, and instead of being concerned, he wants to be part of the operation so he can earn his money Tommy keeps giving him, but... Tommy refuses as he is worried that something might happen to JP. Vic and Gloria are getting closer again as Vic promises not to listen to what his father says or thinks about Gloria. He's finally becoming his own person. However, they are targets of a drive-by, unsure of who it could be, possibly the Serbs. Walter hit back at the Serbs for messing with his son, but this has his consequences which we shall see later. The team start rolling out Dahlia in the streets and, as expected, it was a huge hit. Everyone wanted it. But... Tommy wants to expand its target market by reducing the price, but that would mean altering its composition. Tommy and Claudia clash over this idea, but Tommy won't take no for an answer. Even Jannard found out about Dahlia and he wants it to himself. He tells Diamond about it, and as expected, he doesn't want CBI to have anything to do with it. And that doesn't sit right with Jannard. Jannard steals a sample of Dahlia and brings a bag full to another street gang, Gary, to try and be the connect. JP is insistent on getting to know his mother, 
who he never knew, but Tommy tells him it's a bad idea. Tommy and JP's grandma, Miriam, dies, the lady from the retirement home, and JP calls Tommy's mum behind his back to let her know the news, and, oh no, we see the return of Kate. Kate is only ever in Tommy's life when she wants money, so why would this time be any different? Walter invites Tommy to discuss him joining the Flynn organisation, but Tommy turned him down and reminds Walter that he has Vic and Gloria is good for him. Tommy visits Vic and warns him to run away with Gloria because it isn't safe. He gives Vic the keys to an untraceable car and then leaves. Remember when Walter hit back at the Serbs? Well, the Serbs hit back again, this time killing Gloria. Vic took his own car when leaving with Gloria instead of the untraceable car that Tommy left for them. Walter put it in Vic and Claudia's head that Tommy had something to do with it. Vic was devastated that Gloria died and Vic didn't know it was the Serbs. He believes his father, but Claudia had her doubts. Oh, and by the way, Walter has stage 1 cancer and he hasn't told his children yet. And when he tells his children that Tommy is not good for business and Tommy is the reason Gloria is dead, they agree and this means war. Tommy wants to bring in JP to the business to help cook Dahlia. He told Liliana that JP was his brother and JP was in. Liliana is attracted to JP's voice but Tommy made it clear to keep it strictly business. The dirty cop from earlier, Bennigan, is being blackmailed by one of his colleagues and when Vic asks him to find out more about the new drug Dahlia, Bennigan demands more money. Tommy is smart, he knows Dmac has been following him around, he confronts Dmac and Tommy realises that he is smart, so he lets Dmac handle Tommy's finances and after following Dmac around to his hiding spot, Tommy made the connection between Dmac and JP in that they were father and son and Tommy is an uncle, who would have thought? Meanwhile, Diamond meets a mystery woman, Adrienne, and they connect, but she only got close to him because she is a journalist and wants the inside scoop on Diamond. When he finds out, he confronts her, but she was willing to drop the article to pursue their relationship for real. Walter gave Claudia the role in the Flynn family that she has always wanted, to distract her from the lie he spilt about Tommy being the cause on the hit on Vic and Gloria. Tommy is unaware of what happened to Vic and Gloria until Liliana tells him. He explains that he tried to help them. Tommy goes to Claudia, who has been ignoring him since she spoke to her father. She tells him that Gloria is dead and he is devastated. Claudia accuses Tommy and Tommy warns Claudia to consider her sources, and Claudia sends the warning right back to watch his back. Tommy needs some allies, he is on his own. He reaches out to Mirkovic to form an alliance with the Serbs for the upcoming war. He also kills the Serb who killed Gloria. However, Claudia sees Tommy speaking with Mirkovic and assumes that her father was right about him. She is now all in with her family against Tommy. Elsewhere, we see Gennard talking to Blackston after finding out Tommy is behind Dahlia. He plans to take out Tommy and, unsurprisingly, his own brother Diamond. He wants to be head of CBI again and believes that this is the only way, by killing his own brother. Diamond overheard the whole conversation. He acts oblivious when speaking to Gennard after. Gennard also finds out that D-Mac and his friend Marshall go behind his back and offer distro to Gary. Gennard is angry and plans to kill them. D-Mac tells Tommy about the deal he made with Gary and he is pissed, but Tommy hits back and announces that he's D-Mac's uncle. D-Mac's emotions are all over the place as he pulls out a gun, but eventually runs away. But just as their heated conversation ends, a jeep pulls up and starts shooting at them. D-Mac is hit and is in serious condition. Tommy takes him to the hospital and calls JP and reveals that D-Mac is his son. JP is not happy with Tommy for keeping this a secret, but then again, who would be? The Flynn family bought in their big guns, the Irish mob, also known as the Four Horsemen, as they discussed the strategy to kill Tommy. Tommy is out for revenge. He quickly takes care of one of the horsemen at Dr. Parker's office. Diamond is at the barbershop with Adrienne when he gets a call from Gerard. He senses something isn't right, so he rushes out with her. Seconds later, Blackston and a few others arrive by the shop and shoot it up. Diamond catches Blackston and beats him until he reveals that Gerard was behind the hit. Blackston riles him up and Diamond kills him. At the hospital, JP is trying to reconnect with DMAC. Tommy interrupts, bringing with him some Serbs as protection for them. JP asks Tommy to get some medical information from Miriam's house. When he gets there, Kate is there. After giving each other a hard time, Tommy offers Kate money to leave. But when Tommy reveals that she has a grandson, she demands that she meets him. Claudia takes the Flynn gang to where Tommy cooks Dahlia and a massive shootout takes place where only Tommy, Vic and one of the horsemen are left standing. Claudia finds out Tommy's weakness from the pharmacist to help them create Dahlia. Meanwhile, Gennard cuts a deal with the Serbs to stop helping Tommy. 
Claudia tries to cut a deal for Dahlia with Jannard, and that's when Jannard reveals that Tommy didn't have anything to do with Gloria's death. Still, Claudia kidnaps JP as bait to lure Tommy out, who is now working with Diamond. But another massive shootout takes place with everyone, and by everyone, I mean Tommy, Liliana, Diamond, the Flins, Jannard, and a few members of CBI. Diamond reveals that Jannard tried to kill him, and that surprised a lot of the CBI members. Shots are fired, and Diamond chases Jannard. Instead of killing each other, they agree to split territory with CBI. Meanwhile, Claudia shoots Liliana and, unfortunately, she dies before Tommy could find out who shot at her. Tommy has Vic at gunpoint and tries to explain that he had nothing to do with what happened to Gloria. Claudia backs him up and JP is exchanged for Vic. Vic and Claudia go against their father and that could mean the end of the Flynn organisation as we know it. At the end, we see law enforcement talking about a new player in Chicago. Although they have no information about him, a picture they have shows it to be none other than Tommy. We also see a surprise that Medina and Blanca Rodriguez at the DEA from the original Power series are back, and they head about in Chicago. Medina wants to let it go and be handled by the Chicago office, but we all know that Blanca has a massive grudge against Tommy, so she probably won't let it go. The season ends with Vic and Claudia swearing to never trust their father again, and Diamond and Tommy agree to find a way to take over Chicago. Season 3 will be interesting. Is Kate going to stay in Chicago? Who will be Tommy and Diamond's new enemy in Season 3? There have been rumours that the Mexican cartel are in town, so I guess we'll find out soon. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.